Hello, my delightfully devilish darlings and my lovely little witchlings. Today we are going to be discussing spell writing for the beginner witch. Now this is a topic that comes up quite a bit on the Spells of Magic website and it's one of the reasons that I wanted to make a video on it. Um, I've actually <clears throat> wrote up little, I don't know if you can see that, little charts or guides if you will to go over. So the first one is intent, which is your goal. Um, it's what you want to achieve by casting the spell. Day and time, um, would a certain day or time work better for you? And then tools or ingredients, which can be candles, herbs, jars, um, really anything that you need for your spell. Are these things you have, things you need, need to get? Um, and then words and phrases, are there any words or phrases you need to say during the casting of your spell? Belief and visualization, these are both very important when casting spells belief in yourself and your abilities, and then visualization, which is the ability to visualize and focus on your intent, and then putting it together, which is when you add all of this together to cast your spell. Um, and I've actually written up a, I don't know if you can see this, I apologize, I know my webcam on my laptop isn't the greatest, I'm working on getting a new one, that way when we actually do more of these videos it's easier for you to see things. Um, but so your, our intent or goal is protection. That's what we're working our magic for. Now, daytime, I have the waxing moon or full moon just because the waxing moon is a good time to draw things to you. And the full moon is just a good all-purpose time. So if we're doing a protection spell, we can do one during the waxing moon leading up to the full moon. Or um, now for daytime, if there's like a day or time that works better for you when you know you're going to be able to do this and not be bothered, then, you know, that would be like your daytime. Now, tools, ingredients. Now for this. We would need candles, matches, a lighter, a pen for writing on our candle, sandalwood essential oil, and a heatproof candle holder. Now again, this is just a guide and an example. You don't have to do this. Um, this little guide here is one that I got from the Ellen Dugan um, or Magic for Beginners book. That has a really large um, kind of like spell writing guide in there, but I've kind of shorten it a little bit just to make it easier and not quite as um, difficult to follow along with. So tools, ingredients are a candle, our matches, or lighter, um, the pen, sandalwood essential oil, heat proof dish, and candle holder. Then words, is, words and phrases. Um, what I have here is I am safe, I am protected. Just kind of keep it simple. Um, as long as it gets your point across and your goal, that's fine. Um, and then belief and vis Belief and visualization. Believe and visualize that your words and actions are working and bringing to you what you want when you're creating or casting your spell. Now, putting it together. So let's say we're doing this on a full moon. We would get our candle. We would use the pen or needle to write or carve the words, I am safe, I am protected, into the candle. Now, while you're doing this, visualize and believe that that's working, like it's filling the candle with that energy. Um, once you have your words and phrases carved in a circle around the candle. Um, hang on. So you would just write, I am safe, I am protected, and it would just go all the way around the candle. Um, and then you could anoint it with your essential oil, which is sandalwood, which is associated with protection. As you anoint it, keep visualizing and focusing on um, your goal, which is protection. Then you would light your candle, put it in your heat proof dish, and then you could say or chant your words or phrases, which is I am safe, I am protected. And as your candle burns down, focus on that and visualize that energy being sent out into the universe to manifest and bring that to you. Um, now you don't, again, you don't have to do this the way I have it set up here. This is meant just to be like a guide for you to help you. I know that it comes up quite a bit on the site, like how do I write and cast spells. Um, this is just kind of here to give you an idea. Um, in the description for this, I will also add my article on beginner-friendly spell ideas, just to kind of give you a little bit more info on this should you need it. Um, and as always, stay magical!